Hi guys, how you doing? This is Sasha Chapman, your Technology Jedi. In today's video, we are going to go over how you create drop-down menus in Playster. So, one problem that a lot of agents have is they want to add a lot of content to their website. Well, then it gets too busy because this row here gets uh, taken up with links. So I'm going to show you how to create a drop-down menu like I have on mine. Okay? So first things first, go to mykw. Well, go to mykw.kw.com. You're going to hover over technology, click on KW websites. When you click there, it's going to take you to the back end here. Click on go to my website. Now you're on the back end of Placer when this comes up. Okay? It takes a minute sometimes. So once it comes up, you are then going to click on edit. All right? There's two ways of doing that. Right here, edit site. So we're going to go that way. And for all the testing purposes, um, let me just show you how I've got my set up here. Click on menu. Now, you can see I have a lot of different links. Okay. So, but the best way I can tell you to do this, we're going to play around with this link here called Jack and Jill. All right. So, let's say I want to move Jack and Jill up the hill and I want to move it into my buyer resources. So, I just pretty much click, grab it, like so and then drag it uh, inside. You see that? Right on top of it? Boom. And now it's going to put it down here at the bottom. Once you click on save, it will then change your website. So Jack and Jill was here under Helpful Real Estate Info, and now I'm going to refresh it. And Jack and Jill should now be, once it refreshes, under Buy Resources. See that there? And there you go. One other quick trick I want to show you real quick with it. Um, let's go back to menu. Let's say you you just want to try to treat these here, the top links, like they're not real links, they're just placeholders. You can do that, but what it is is creating a home page. For example, I could always go in here and add another page, and I can add a home page. Well, I've added a home page. If you click on it, it's going to take them to my home page. But let's say I want to move, for example, um, we'll move Jack and Jill back. Okay. Yeah, let's get down here. I put Jack and Jill underneath there. I will then also, for sale by owner, for, let's say I pull that out as well. Let's say I put that underneath it as well. Let's go down. Come on. All right. And I put that inside of home as well. Okay, now if I click on this, I can change the label. I don't want to call it home. Let's call it Scooby Doo. I can't spell Scooby today. Can you spell Scooby? All right, we're going to call it Smurf. <laughs> All right, and the tool tip is just whatever you want the text to hop. Um, the, the tool tip is the text that comes up when you hover your mouse over it. So that's Smurf and this is going to be GI Joe. Okay. And I click on save. Now what, watch what happens this time. All right, we're going to refresh it. I'm going to get another link added to the very top. And there is Smurf along with Jack and Jill. And that's how you manipulate your menu. So, I mean, obviously, I probably have a little too much content there. I'm playing around with my website as we speak. But I want to show you guys how you can organize your website with the menu option. All right, I hope this was very helpful. If you need any more tips, give me a call, 817-668-0311. Or just check on here on KW Connect for more content I'm putting out there. Um, I am the Tech Jedi. You can catch me on Chat Me Realty Group. Please like me on Facebook as well as subscribe to me on YouTube with Chat Me Realty Group. Thank you. Have a blessed day.